All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Useless Mr. Moon Show. We're going to play a new horror game today called Paroxysm. I don't know if I say it correctly. It's a new game. It's horror evening. But today, in the meantime, when I hop in, we're going to do something different because I already played the game and not because I wanted to play the game. No, I played the game while I was recording, but the recording broke. So we're still going to go through the game. You won't see me scared that much, but it's still for you. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Okay. This time, things seem scarier than usual. I heard rumors about scary stuff happening in an apartment building. People had to leave the area because of it. Residents speak of weird noises, shadows, and even ghosts. That so that's something for you then, dude. As someone who loves horror, this got me interested, so I yes. to check it out. Oh, I now see it though. <gasps> oh, I didn't see that before. Behind that dude... There was a woman standing. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I, I finished the game. I got scared two times. Pretty cool. I will be honest. I will tell you exactly where I got scared, scared but I won't give the scare away. Um, the only th the scary thing that was actually in the previous recording uh, that didn't work, something got wrong, I don't know what, is that you see the time on the right top, right? That was exactly the same as my recording time. So that was a bit creepy that already put in the creep factor now it's immediately recording i can see it something went wrong during the recording i don't know what or for go to the apartment at the end of the street and enter flat number 10 okay let's go there then i'm still trying to put it as um like i played the first time i'm not gonna act like oh my god i'm so scared no it is a terrifying game even though i'm now doing it for the second time this game, ladies and gentlemen, had a fantastic atmosphere. And you will see why soon. You will see why. It has an absolutely great atmosphere. And now I'm also seeing things that I didn't see before. So, neato, right? Neato. As I said, I'm going to be absolutely honest about it. I'm gonna just going to take you through the game. It's for you now to get scared. And maybe I can actually then, for once, shut up on the moments that you actually can get scared. But it's a beautiful game. That's 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 it's an awesome game. That's why I'm re immediately replaying it for you guys so that I can still upload it. I'm it sad though. If you hear something, my cat is actually uh, want to get out of the <laughs> get out of the room. So yeah, I let my cat outside of the room. He thought like, oh my god, is he gonna talk? I need to get out. I need to get out of this room. He will always wants to be with me, unless I'm recording. He's then always leaving. I don't know why. Doesn't have to do anything with the talking, so leave those comments though, ladies and gentlemen, because he loves it when I talk to him. But I think it's also a bit too warm for him. Although cats do like the heat, right? They do like warm rooms. Okay, that's not the door. Okay. See? See that one? That one still got me though. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a cool scary game, man. Let, as soon as we get in this door, ladies and gentlemen, watch the watch the atmosphere. It's insane. I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to replay. Why am I replaying it? Mm, I could have just saved for next month or something like that, right? That's how much I want to share this game with you guys. It's a fun handheld camera horror game. What is it always with these scans in the in, in, in these games, right? It feels similar to another game from N4BA, this game. And it always in these kind of apartments always there's something like food on the on the on the what do you call those? Right, over there. I don't, I forgot how you call it. We say fenster bunk. It's a very weird word for you guys, but here, how do you call that? Let me know in the comments please. Thank you. So yeah. We gotta go to apartment 10. Now we're on this third floor. Oh, we're getting goosebumps. <laughs> this was a good game. Sad that you can't see uh, the original playthrough, but yeah. Eh? We gotta do what we gotta do. Deal with what we have, right? This is apartment 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to go upstairs first. 
So yeah, I'm 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 trying to show as much as possible, like I did in the original playthrough. I can't just immediately go through the point where we have to go, but then, nah, it's not nice, right? So, he's over here. I do like that they actually give a um, an interaction, uh, like a symbol or a sign where you have to go. I do like that. I don't like to have to figure out completely where you have to go in the game. Okay, let's go into the apartment. Ooh. As I said, this game has a lot of way or a lot of similar things to the game from N4BA called From Darkness. That's different. Why is it different? Or did I hear it the first time? All right. The kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. Very beautiful. A little bit disgusting, but beautiful. Huh. And look into uh, our neighbor's apartment, right? Hello, what are you doing there, you disgusting little fool? Alright. I I have goosebumps again, man, playing this game. Wait, am I hearing different things? I played it literally a half hour ago. What the fuck? Yeah, this is creepy. <laughs> this is creepy, right? So let me know, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments. Let me know. Is it something to get uh, to keep it out? Or to keep something from getting in? You tell me. Hello, creepy doll. Objective, place your bag in the living room and take your items. There, it's the place where we... Let's place it. Alright. Place the motion sensor in front of the door of the main entrance. Main entrance. Okay. I also had a very big bug in the game. So it's actually... I'm happy that we I can replay it. And hopefully it's now acting normal. Alright. Next. Next. It also took me an hour to finish it, the game. And now I'm probably going to do it a bit quicker. The reason for the bug was uh, the jump scare got frozen. And I had to wait for almost 20 minutes, for 25 minutes, then resolved itself for somehow. I went into the living room, just wait. Ooh, EMF 4. Oh no, definitely not out. Alright. Good stuff. Nothing. It's 4 in this room, though. Okay. Where's five then? Kitchen? Kitchen is three. Over here, all right. Let's close it. Boom. Fuck just happened. on the breaker turn on every light man I don't like that it's even have goosebumps still over my legs because I know I know this is a creepy game it actually makes it worse to play it then <laughs> why am I playing it again <laughs> oh you stay there all right uh, email five Perform the summoning ritual. Well, the first time I said, that's not a smart move. Never do that, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's grab the stuff for the ritual. The summoning ritual. Salt down. If it is even salt, right? A uh, nice pentagram. Sure. Is it a pentagram? Yeah, it's a pentagram. He's more like Peter the Sun, though. Yeah. And uh, candles, of course. Thought oh, those were eyes, man. Why is the door open, by the way? I don't trust that door now. 
<laughs> I, I closed it before. I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> and then we put in the Holy Bible. That's cool that I actually, in the beginning, I didn't see that woman standing behind that guy. Oh shit. Oh shit. We didn't we didn't finish the ritual, ladies and gentlemen. Oh it's so cool. Hey no money padre, hey Philly, hey Spiritus Autos. Amen. This is so cool. Maybe one of the greatest scene in this uh, in this game, actually, ladies and gentlemen. I really enjoy that they put th this in it. Look at this. Look at this, man. Damn it. This is not. This is not. This is not God's side. This is the devil's side. These are devil worshippers. Oh, this is a great picture, by the way. I didn't see that before. Thanks, bro. Hello? Oh wait, you're alive? You're alive? Wait, I didn't see that before. Oh shit. Oh, the first time I didn't turn around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, always turn around in horror games. <laughs> I didn't turn around first. I was just reading the book. It says curse though, but I was looking at that guy the first time. Okay, cool. So, and actually, a second playthrough can scare you though. Uh huh. Ooh. <laughs> I say cool, but I don't like it. <laughs> Because I already went through hell once, and now I'm going through he hell twice. Oh, just for you. Oh, I found this so creep. Oh, close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door, I oh, don't... No. Close the door! Close the door! Hmm, goosebumps. Oh, I hate that scene. I'm driving myself, that's again. <laughs> This is so different. This is so different than the first playthrough. I mean, the game is not different, but the whole experience of the game. It's fantastic. You take it in completely in. Okay, what we're we supposed to do now? I'm definitely not gonna open that door, though. Ooh. You see this? <laughs> These eyes, man. But the funny thing is, a bomb. You can actually see someone standing there. What happened? 
kitchen. So we get into the kitchen. So that, that's what happened the first time. I, I just heard a noise, but I kept walking. I didn't see it. Okay. Well, I think uh, the woman that lives here, the granny, probably doesn't really like me that much. It's still funny that this, the recording is still almost the same time. It's Mine is now on 70 minutes. <laughs> All right. I closed that door. Oh, leave the apartment, yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, no. Nothing. <laughs> this game has some great scenes, man. I really enjoyed this one as well. But the girl, the woman, the granny running to, into the house and you hear her running. It's insane. Running? Did I say running? <laughs> I meant running. Or ran into the house. I did exactly the same first time. I was like, okay, what do you want me to do with those hands? Um, or in what way you want to scare me? You know, you know what? You want to see what scared me as well? It absolutely got me though. I got, I said I'm gonna be honest about that. Oh uh, boys and girls. I don't know if I told you already, but this here, this scared the shit out of me. Cause I was looking here like for okay, what's going on? And I was like, oh yeah, and then I did like this, boom, and I, uh, you know, some of these things can really scare you. And that's and that's and that's what I like about horror games. Horror games, you should get scared. That's why I love playing them. Playing a horror game, you don't get scared. That's weird, man. Uh, you're still there? Okay, that's cool. I forgot what to have to do. Okay. Oh, look at that, man. It's... I honestly forgot it. Alright. That's cool. That gave me goosebumps because in the first place I'm pretty sure that my motion sensor didn't go off. And now it went off. And that's not what I like. That sound, we stood, we stood there in that other room, and it went off. Oh yeah, yeah, now I know what to do. But that gave, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that gave me goosebumps. Because I'm pretty sure in the first playthrough it didn't go off. I was wondering what... I was wondering... Why it didn't go off? Why, why would we put a motion sensor at the end of the game? I was like, okay, that was a little bit of a miss or a hit. You know what I mean? Please turn on that. Thank you. It did it again! Look how close we have to stay, see? See? I was now standing here, it went off. Okay, that makes it a lot creepier to be fair. Okay. Okay, it's worth it to play this game a second time. Toilet is plus skull is a key, okay. Don't go off. Ooh, okay. Is that actually? It's a hand. I didn't see it. Is it a hand though? Or is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a hand. Okay. Peace. 
He's from what again? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Let's go. It was such a cool game. <gasps> okay, that scared me. Oh, she broke out. Whoa, shit. Look at the camera, look at the flash, ladies and gentlemen. The scary part is now starting. I like it that the character is actually holding the flashlight here. It's, I, in the beginning I felt like it's a little bit annoying, but at the end I realized, okay, that's actually a great feature because it's not in the middle. It's a bit more realistic. Some people walk with flash like this, some people uh, use it like that. And, uh, yeah, so it's a good, good change for once. Hello? Oh, we can actually go in her room? But I, I, I thought I couldn't go in her room. Okay. Hey, please, man. Goosebumps to the max. Goosebumps to the max. <laughs> Hello? We have to go here? Thank you. Oh, ladies, this is what I mean with the atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. This is, um, yeah. The creator did a good job with the atmosphere and the the the, the environment. I'm still flabbergasted that we heard that motion sensor two times. Ooh. Sadly, we didn't see it, but there was someone running here. You could just see her arm. Let you know, but the uh, the bloody wooden thing of their closet was in front of it so but yeah this that was not really like a jump scare it was just like that's a bit more like it i'm still scared i'm, I'm, I'm scared again ladies and gentlemen this is insane oh can we open this one Excuse me. Hello? <sighs> oh, don't, don't, don't push me in. Ask my consent first. Hello? This girl's still in there, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, darling, what did you do today? I pooped this call out. Yes, I did. Go away. Yeah, okay. You're not, uh, you're not letting me out, man. I see you. Well, we see you too. Or not, actually. We just saw your arm. Supposedly. You are not welcome here. I get the vibe, yeah. Indeed, I get a vibe. This is your last warning. Uh, I'm gonna warn you. I'm gonna take a poop poop and you're gonna smell the shit. <laughs> My shit. They are watching. Yeah, you can watch whatever you want to. Win. I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit. I hope that got you, ladies and gentlemen. Secret basement, of course, in an apartment. Very, very logical. 
Uh, I don't think I think we're losing our minds. Oh my god, I didn't see that before. Ooh, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, freaking hell, I don't like this. I hate this in games. Where, the, where was it? Okay, get, get away. Ooh. Oh, I hate I hate being chased, chased ladies and gentlemen. I even know that she's coming. But I hate it. And I mean love it. What is this? W23. Nothing. What's that? It's a key! So the first time I had a bug here. And I don't know why. It just didn't want to turn on my flashlight and I was stuck here for like 10 minutes. And then that shit happened. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's the only one time that this um, this game actually made me jump. Like, like proper jump. And then the second bug immediately happened. That was, I was standing here and the door didn't want to open. And then she was still like standing in like this. Like the scare that we just saw. Well, before that she come running towards us. We saw her like standing like this, right? When we did this the whole time. She was still standing there and after 25 minutes or 20 minutes it just resolved it disappeared and this door opened up so i could finish the game luckily Can we now go out i was checking if there's maybe another end ladies and gentlemen that would be cool right i think we i think we can end the game Ooh. Still there, lady? No, you know? You're somewhere waiting in the hallway for me, huh? I'm a little bit confused where I am right now. Okay. So let's go here. This is what we had to open up. It was the only thing that was locked. You are not alone in this house. The woman you're looking for her, aren't you? Oh, sorry. The woman, you are looking for her, aren't you? If you want to find her, listen carefully. Didn't you hear her screams? The echo behind the walls. Her blood still decorates the walls. I placed her there where my own hands, with my own hands, right before your eyes where we hide all our secrets. Keep hiding, but remember, every wall has a secret. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I love it. And I'm gonna be honest about that one as well. That that didn't scare me the first time because I said, um, "Look, someone's gonna be standing behind me," and uh, I was right. It knife though. I did not. I did not see that one. That was cool. So we have to get her out. Out of the world. What's she hand? Look, with the with the series Supernatural, ladies and gentlemen, we can just burn her right now, and then she is probably put to rest. But something did something to her. If this note falls into someone's hands, let them know that they have not freed the woman's spirit. Okay. Instead, they have cursed her soul upon themselves. Now her nightmare will be your reality. There's no escape. Yeah, you fuck boy. Hello? I think I think we I think we should go try to get out, man. Just get out. Be quick. Right. 
you I hope you get some subs some viewers I know it's hard these days to do that to get that you have to work hard for it but I don't mind actually working hard for stuff see uh, the reward the better the reward the more satisfied you are right hello so what does that mean is she now hunting us then because it said we we this we uh us we us nuts the right the wrong word but uh it means like uh, what i want to say is um she's now hunting us like her soul is hunting on us is she coming with us everywhere now can we see her still oh yeah there she is now she's gone hello lady oh but this was also where the the jigsaw actually um, moved so maybe maybe it was her all along what is over there can we go there I, I think we cannot go there no I see her already oh no hello lady are you pointing towards me? Why are you pointing towards me? Oh, she's gone. Is she? No. Bollocks. At the end of this dark adventure, I have come to understand what true fear is. The path I took to explore haunted place and capture supernatural events on camera has come to a heavy price. The terrifying woman's house, the horror of the corpse trapped within the walls, all of it, it, it etched into my mind. As I fled the apartment with the key in my hand, I knew the nightmare I left behind was just the beginning. Did I really escape or will this horror follow me forever? I think tr that's true, mate. This question echoes in the depths of my mind, giving me no peace. I am on the brink of losing my sanity. There is no escape from the d this darkness. I see only one way out. Perhaps this is the only way to enter I have lived through. I hope you steer clear of the dark pit I have fallen into. Every adventure comes at a price and I can no longer pay it. I had to read quick for that one, though. Oh, yeah, it's hunting here. Well, not for long. Not for long, ladies and gentlemen. So, my question is now to him. Was it worth the views? He sold his soul to the devil to gain some views. <laughs> That's probably why I don't have too many views. Because I didn't sell my soul. Ladies and gentlemen, I still hope you had a lot of fun. Um, this was a little bit of a different walkthrough that you have normally with me. Because normally we played originally. And, like, single first playthrough, you see me get scared. Like, bonkers. But now... I really want to share this game with you because it's actually quite, quite as you could see, the atmosphere is actually really amazing. Even gave me goosebumps and some scares in the second playthrough. The motion sensor, I don't, I don't think, I think it went off in the first time as well, but I didn't pay attention to it. Although I was paying attention to it, I, I just didn't notice it. So yeah, the second time I noticed it, I also noticed the jigsaw, noticed some other things with the eyes and stuff like that. Uh, so it was actually still cool so ladies and gentlemen I, I really hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this i'm sorry that it wasn't the original or the first playthrough but i still think it was uh, uh, uh still deserved to actually upload ladies and gentlemen thank you for the big support i'm going to hop to the next video and you will see me there i love the horror evenings i i hope you do so too but for now i say bye bye auf wiedersehen